Hello, everyone. My name is Gaspar Inhaldo de Souza. I'm a professor at the Federal University of Lavras, and now I will share with you our presentation. So, as you can see, hopefully, on the screen, the title of this poster is Teaching English Practice in the Academic Context in Two Federal Universities in Brazil, Convergences and Divergences in Continuous Teacher Training. As I mentioned, my name is Gaston Ramar de Souza. I'm a professor at the Federal University of Lavras, and I'm also representing Professor Jamila Viegas Rodrigues and Thiago da Cunha Nascimento, both working at the Federal University of Lavras. So, how did they start? I mean, the convergences and divergences considering English in the academic context. Considering the program Science Without Borders, both universities, the Federal University of Lavras, which is located in the south of Minas Gerais, and the Federal University of Minas Gerais, which is in the capital, they both needed to enrich students' proficiency to perform better in programs like uh, Minas Mundi, which, is, which was a program uh, created with UFMG, and both universities, they needed to help students to upgrade their proficiency to participate in the, all the possibilities considering Science Without Borders. As a result of this program, Science Without Borders, uh, both universities started to hire professors to work specifically on English in academic context. Considering the internationalization, which was also and uh, one of the goals of the English in the academic context, considering the curriculum of the universities, there was a recognition of English as lingua franca since it was used worldwide to disseminate, to make information uh, be spread all over the world. And also English was uh, considered as a medium of instruction so that students could learn any context content using English. So it was also something strategic for scientific knowledge comprehension and for its production worldwide. The contribution for teachers' education. We observed the opportunity for interdisciplinary practices, especially at UFLA, and, and the reflection on critical issues. The interdisciplinary practice, it means that students with different backgrounds and uh, taking different major, majors, they could interact with students from other areas using English as a medium of instructions, as I mentioned. And at the same time, they would be able to reflect on things that they would probably never discuss in other subjects. For example, poverty, inequality, gender, racism, Considering both universities, I would like to emphasize the convergences, which is the redefinition of the concept of English as lingua franca. Because basically, when we consider English as lingua franca, we tend just to think about it as a tool to be used internationally to achieve goals, especially in academic field. But the critical issue, considering the hegemonic view, it has to be also addressed. Especially in Brazil, we needed to overcome the hegemonic view that makes the identities and needs of Brazilian students invisible. So students they could be able, I mean, they could be uh, empowered to talk about themselves, how they would like to use English, considering who they are, and considering, for example, their identities, like being Black, being um, with a different sexual orientation and things like that. Now, considering the divergences, we observed that, especially at UFLA, we needed to resignify professors' practices in the sense that we needed to use English in academic context in a way of promoting teacher education, especially thinking of our language undergraduate students. We saw that English in academic context was an opportunity for them to have like an education considering the critical issues that I have mentioned considering interdisciplinarity and considering that they would have an opportunity to upgrade their linguistic proficiency too. And whereas at UFMG, uh, considering that Professor Thiago da Cunha Nascimento uh, had worked there before coming to UFLA, he observed that at 
when we share most of the discipline itself, it was based on internationalization and linguistic proficiency, but not as a spot for teacher education and especially considering the language undergraduate students. And, but we here at UFLA, especially now thinking of Jamila, Professor Jamila and I, we observed that we needed to take advantage of this course, English in Academic Context, to foster teacher education so that students could have this opportunity to become more critical as future language teachers. So this is our poster, and I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. And um, in case you want to share anything, your questions, we will be very pleased to get to know more from you. Thank you very much.